Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's time for some more Victoria 2. I'm Ripley House Galvin. Alright, so we're at peace for once, which is kind of nice. It is kind of nice. Um, you can seize the means of production, yeah. But no, no need it right now. What I need is for autosaves to stop. Now, uh, we're pretty high on infamy right now, so we really can't do much along the lines of attack, attack, attack. But, we, uh, do have some work we need to do here. Hmm. Food, world food shortages still seem to be a thing. Looks like paper is also pretty profitable. Hmm. Alright, well. Have way too many clerks. It looks like. Yeah. Uh, we've got clerks in Baghdad, clerks and craftsmen in a lot of places. So let's start by sorting by that. Yeah, I actually already went through and uh, upgraded all that, didn't I? Any other provinces? No. All right. I think it's probably best if we just did this. Yeah. I don't know why that, that had priority hiring. Really shouldn't. If anything, this stuff should have high priority hiring. So what is our greatest imports these days? Glass and steel and cement. Yeah, we aren't actually producing any cement locally. Which could be a problem. Cement and building material simply requires coal. I'm sure we can find a thing. And somebody told me, here we go, RGO output. Wow, this is so much easier. I think I prefer infrastructure anyway. People are telling me not to use the infrastructure, just use the RGO map mode. It's like, yeah, so I, so I trade a, you know, one color background for another. I think I prefer this. Makes it easier to see the stuff. So quit yelling at me. Alright, now. Yeah, we don't have any coal out here, do we? Eh, that'd be too much wishful thinking. Saudi Arabian Red Guard. Oh dear. Yeah, the only place we've uh, got coal is up here. Unless I were to start colonizing Nigeria. I uh, know, Nigeria just has oil. For some reason I. Well, in Victoria too, it had coal. That's probably why. Uh, Alright. But, in addition. Yeah, I, I really should probably not worry so much about it and just build a freaking cement plant somewhere. That is going to be necessary. Okay. What are we on the rise, which is good. I'm going to start building an actual navy soon, I think. Uh, like after carrier. Aircraft carriers. Okay. So that's where I can get actual uh, carriers. Good. We're going to head for that tech next, I think. Blended learning. We can't get that yet, so that's fine. Okay. So the reason we're going to want uh, a carrier is we need to actually start moving towards getting great power status. Because I'm going to look into the idea of potentially forming some sort of union. Uh... Yeah, the Economic Cooperation Organization. So that's the one that's available to the Middle East regions. I uh, don't know much if Syria will be in it. No, there's still military industrial complex. It's possible that we'll see uh, others join in around here as well. Turkmenistan, no. Nope. Kazakhstan, nothing. No, it doesn't look like anyone else has uh, joined in at all. Oh, oh, wow, I could get that, okay. Right now, the Economic Cooperation Organization is just a thing. Uh, it's a similar set of ideas that several nations will have. But, should uh, one of us get to become a great power and discover a certain tech, which I actually already have, um, I believe it's political polarization, we can theoretically form a union. Uh, and the one who becomes a great power absorbs everyone else. Uh, I'll still need several more texts to get there, because I need to research market functionality, uh, 
fair decent ways in uh, to get the decisions leading up to the actual formation of a union, which tells us one. Yeah, sure. I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind being backed by the Russians. They seem like a friendly bunch for the time being. I mean, I am working my way up to great power status. And, you know, like, we're going to end up in India's sphere at this rate, actually. That's not terrible. All right, with this. Mm -hmm. Still can just do that. All right. And we are bleeding money. I got to do something about that. Uh, no, sunny Arabs. You are not getting autonomy. I mean, it would be silly of me to put tariffs on at this point. Because it's not going to cost my population anything, and or extract any money from my population. It's going to drive up factory costs. <laughs> Which I'll end up likely just paying for myself anyway. Like, that's not going to help at all. Hmm, no. Darn. Let's have a look at the world economy. What's going on here? Management systems. Excellent. So like I said, the next thing we're going to go for is aircraft carriers. Because anyone who can look at any of the great powers right now can tell you. Uh, it's a lot in the capital ships. I think there's, uh, there's poor little Indonesia at my level. And there's America. With 4,600 military score from capital ships. So getting a fleet of battle carriers mm, seems reasonable. We might need to upgrade our ports as well. We'll see. All right. In addition, we're going to try and get, you know, as many people employed as possible. Hmm. Well, unsurprisingly, it doesn't take her long to research carrier techs these days. I mean, even this is only up to 8,700. Like, yeah... 42% cheaper. Mm. We're in pretty good shape here. Good. I mean, even if I got literacy up, we'd be... Dogma of violence, that's fine. We'll be fine. Um, But yeah, there are other uh, unions that have the potential of forming soon. And I believe probably the first one that's going to form is NAFTA. I just hazard a guess. It's possible at any time that the EU could also form. Uh, and we're getting towards uh, basically worldwide super states. See, so yeah, now tariffs not gonna help me. That, eh, if I pay, if I had enough soldiers to make a dent in my goddamn economics, maybe. Uh, deny autonomy. Like, I don't have enough soldiers to make a dent in my economics, really. So. Okay. Alright. Vertical takeoff and landing. So. We're going to get aircraft carriers next. And once we have experimental carriers, we'll be good to go. On that front. Militancy is pretty high. And it's actually rising. That could be useful. Because at 50%, 50 that'll get us 50% of the upper house votes. Question is, is 50% enough? Or do you need 50.01? If you need 50.01, we might be fucked. On the other hand, I could do the logical thing and just thaw out the dictatorship slightly. You know, registered voting, and we'll probably end up with a socialist government, which would, you know, help. Deny autonomy. Let's see. Deselect everybody, select everyone there, and nuts. No, capitalists, they look alike, and they're next to each other. So, yeah, we could end up with a pretty damn socialist and communist upper house here. I think it might just be wise to thaw the dictatorship. Starting to seem that way. Uh, 
Yeah. I actually uh, had to fix the game slightly. Uh, the mod does not actually contain a thawing for an Islamic dictatorship. I would never revert to a democracy, no matter how much, uh, you know, the stuff I did. Like, th there would just be no democracy ever. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't be done. So, I, I changed it so that way it obeys the, uh, rules of all the, uh, base game democracy, or base game dictatorships that still exist, like proletarian, uh, nationalist, and... Populist are... Well, no, Nationalist is a thingy. And I fixed Populist as well. So it should all work. Oh, no, wait. Populist I didn't have to fix because it was an anarcho-liberal one. Right. But yeah, I managed to fix it so that way uh, Islamic dictatorship, which is new in the mod, is treated the same as the other dictatorships in that regard. So I can potentially thaw if I want to. I've been considering it actually for a while. Um, because... The problem is I really do want to try and keep Islamist as long as possible. Like, if I could avoid thawing the dictatorship, I would like to. But if I need to thaw the dictatorship to get great power status, then so be it. Um, I, I am willing to go that far. Okay, we now have aircraft carriers. Good. So. Factory throughput. I think this is where uh, we can get a decent amount of industry score here. We start running up our factory throughput techs. Like, artificial intelligence is 2030. So if we get factory through, throughput here, that's uh, 45, 55, 65, 75, 77% more tech. Um, there's also output around here, I'm sure, somewhere. I think that's in commerce, actually, yeah. New neoclassical synthesis, which we currently need to actually start the whole union thing. That's input, though. Output efficiency. Mm-hmm. We could do uh, that stuff as well. But I think we're just better off developing personal computers, finally. It is 2029. Who knows? Maybe some sort of computers might be of assistance to us. Of course, we have dynamic infrastructure, so... How we have that without computers, I don't know. I think we're just importing them at this point. Alright. Mm, we'll see. So, once uh, my computer is done, we should see a fairly sizable jump in industrial power. Should be at least 50 pointer or something. Alright, well. I swear to god, the AI is doing something. Which is strange, because the AI shouldn't be on. No, capitalists might actually be able to control it. I don't know. Here, get to work. Alright. So, we've managed to knock... Uh, yeah, we managed to knock cement off completely. Rice we can't do anything about. Grain we can't really do anything about. Well, mm, furniture we can. Glass we can. Yeah, alright. Uh, we can probably just make it a glass factory, sure. Because I think the other problem is some of them just don't have employees. <laughs> yeah, I'll blame them. Um, I can just get rid of the small arms factory, really. Also doesn't help that we don't have enough coal. Is there actually enough coal in the world right now? Do I need to start going, potentially securing a supply? Uh, coal, coal. Well, alright. China produces most of the world's coal, no real surprise. Unfortunately, rather hard to take coal from them. <laughs> All right, but more importantly, yeah, there's not actually enough supply of coal right now. But is it really falling off by 13? No, in fact, actually, we're buying third on the market. We're the third buyer on the market. There's no way we should, like, there's no way that the coal's running out before us, right? 
Hmm. I believe that was experimental carriers, I think. Uh, I wasn't actually reading. <laughs> Which one of these is even an aircraft carrier? No, we still haven't discovered aircraft carriers. You know, up to 6% chance to do so, but still. Yeah. Not as much I w as I would have uh, hoped. Oh well. So, how is uh, the crisis region doing? Yeah, we've got a pretty bad hot zone right now here. And by hot zone, I mean we are going to eventually have a crisis. Well, I don't know. Nigeria could have a crisis. Biafran liberation movement. Eh, for once in, you know, the world. Quebec is quiet. <laughs> uh, it is nice to uh, start figuring this out, though. Okay. Economically, we've got most of our people working, which is good. We still we still need to try and make it for a sprint for great power, though, which means we need about six hundred uh, military points worth of things. Uh, I'm gonna expand naval bases pretty much everywhere we can. Level two naval base there. Level two naval base there. Perfect. Kuwait's just sort of sitting there. Poor bastards. Mm, denied some autonomy. Whatever. Islam, minus 0 0.05. Mm-hmm. Good. Nostalgic international science. Sure. <laughs> I, I, I guess that's a thing. I mean, hey, I wouldn't be much better at uh, creating tech levels for the future, so I'm not going to criticize, you know? I, I'm not going to criticize. But, hey, that's personal computers. Finally, in 2030, everybody. Guess what? We have personal computers. So, yeah, throughput. And, hey, an extra 10% on uh, that stuff as well. And, hey, getting factory cost reductions are good stuff here. But either way, that's going to end it for today, I think. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, this has been your lovely, lovely host, Galvin, signing off.